Coal store operators in Tema have intensified calls for a load shedding timetable amid recent erratic power supply. Now, citing the adverse impact of what is widely termed in Ghana as Dumso, the traders said they are compelled to spend more on alternative power sources in the second of our series on the impact of the ongoing erratic supply of power on industries and households. City News' Fauzu Masawudi evaluates the situation at the Tema Fishing Enclave and reports. Ghana's power sector has in recent times dominated the news for obvious reasons. Even more intriguing is the dramatic turn it has taken with the electricity company of Ghana, Gridco and the PURC playing lead roles. On today's edition of the Dumso series, we are here within the Termofishing Harbour Enclave to engage coastal operators on the impact of Dumso on their businesses. Have they identified the, the, the problem? The authorities, because we hear conflicting information from the various uh, regulatory bodies. Why won't government get one solid reason for the outages and then resolve it? Well, amidst this crisis, Victoria Osedo bemoans how much they are compelled to spend on alternative source of electricity. Until the uh, power outages, we were relying on ECG. So we hardly bought any fuel at all for the generator. Okay. Within this period of power outage, we will need to buy at least 600 liters of fuel to run for eight to nine hours. I hope you are getting me. And that is very expensive. That is very expensive. We cannot put a uh, uh, monetary figure on it because the price keeps changing. You know what it means for cold storage operators to pay more for alternative power? Well, buyers would have to bear the most brands. It is cost. Okay, it is cost. And we must retrieve cost. So in retrieving cost, what do you do? You, you apply it to your customers. You apply it to your customers. And that is the issue. And the, 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 the eventual result will be increase of prices of goods and services. The fish price will go up. For other businesses, however, not even a generator could save them. Recently, our fish almost 80 cartons, or getting to 100 cartons, possible because over the weekend we were not around and there was light off. And um, we did not have uninterrupted power supply, so we couldn't come back from where we stayed to this. We couldn't come back to turn on the generator. So when we came back on Monday, most of our fishes had gone back. Like many citizens, these cold storage operators have intensified calls for a load shedding timetable. If you know when the power is going to go out, you might decide not to open the cold store on that day or resort to the generator, buy enough uh, fuel in readiness for the day. But the way it is, you might finish using your fuel and then the following day the light is off. While the recent intermittent power supply continues to bite even harder, persons who rely heavily on the operations of cold storage would have to risk losing their jobs. Mm, it's been a long time we've been facing this issues about this light out thing because we the youth know we like we want the biggest opportunity from government to help us because at this era no in yaska and they are done is an ejima ne bin you say so light out in the map and we only as normal almost in coffee you know what's nice now you use me at the nearest time light in the bank so a high you say yeah you it's now only say you money being you and i was trying to get a different she in the house and it's not a high from our homes to workplaces, it is a no-brainer that a recent erratic power supply continue to adversely impact all facets of development. 
Don't we deserve to have our lights kept on? Reporting for City News, Fauzuma Saudu, Tema.